Hi, I'm Campus Edge reporter Mia Rodriguez, and I'm here at the Cosmosphere in Hutchinson, Kansas, where I'm going to show you guys all around the museum, as well as we are going to talk about the programs that they have, as well as the exhibits that's going on, including ones that are going on internationally. Let's check it out. Uh, my name is Jim Remar, and I am the President and Chief Executive Officer here at the Cosmosphere. Uh, Cosmosphere is an international science education center that got its start in 1962 as a, a small planetarium uh, located in the Poultry Building uh, on the state fairgrounds of all places. Uh, as the planetarium grew in popularity, uh, Hutchinson Community College invited the planetarium to move on to its grounds uh, in 1966, which it did. And then in 1980, uh, the planetarium expanded from uh, just offering um, planetarium programs to developing a museum and education center. Uh, through NASA and Smithsonian relationships, the Cosmosphere was able to acquire thousands of artifacts overnight that really put it on, a, on the map in terms of telling the story of, of the U.S. race to space. Uh, from 1980 uh, to 19 uh, 97, the Cosmosphere continued to acquire artifacts and expand. Uh, in the late 80s and early 90s, the Cosmosphere received uh, a numerous uh, shipment of Russian artifacts. And these artifacts put the Cosmosphere in position to tell the definitive story of the space race from both the sides of the U.S. as well as the, the former Soviet Union. Um, so our museum uh, which is about 35 to 40,000 square feet, uh, showcasing hundreds of artifacts, literally tells the story of the race to space. Um, starting in 1940s World War II with the development of the V-2, uh, up through uh, shuttle and International Space Station, uh, the, the race to the moon unfolds in a point-counterpoint basis uh, with artifacts uh, from both the U.S. and Soviet Union. Um, we have Vostok and a Bosch God uh, from the Soviet Union. We have our flagship artifact, Apollo 13, uh, the flown Mercury, Liberty Bell 7, Gemini 10, uh, numerous historic artifacts. And so this is really a national treasure. Uh, we've then been able to expand and develop education programs that are hands-on, immersive, and interactive, um, and really teach the participant why what they have learned in the classroom is important and how to apply it practical, practically from a, a, a real-world perspective. Um, this is done in immersive environments with simulations, um, new technology, uh, 3D and virtual technology. Um, so it's really cutting edge and allows the participant uh, to have opportunities that they wouldn't get otherwise. else. My name is Tracy Tommy. I am the Chief Operating Officer and Executive Vice President here at the Cosmosphere. And what that means is I run um, our education area, uh, retail, the cafe, and um, rentals and outreach. For our programs that happen here for education, we have camps that are day camps starting with entering second grade. And we have an adult uh, astronaut adventure, we call it AAA. And that is for folks over 21 who want to come and, and participate in camps. They might be local and just go home every evening or they may stay in a hotel if they're from out of town. Um, but we don't make them stay in the dorms, so that's kind of nice. And, uh, and that camp is very fun. So if you have anyone who says, man, I wish I'd have gotten to do that when I was a kid, they can, because we, we have that option as well. So Goddard's is an interactive presentation. It has a live presenter who tailors that show for the audience, if it's all public and mixed, or if it's like uh, one class of younger or older students and they will talk about the history of rocketry and of course they blow things up. So when, anytime you're using liquid oxygen, it, um, you need to keep safety in mind, but if you know what you're doing and our presenters do, they can do a lot of really cool demonstrations and things that you cannot do in a classroom or definitely not at home. We're, we're located in, in Hutchinson, Kansas. Um, we uh, operate um, seven days a week. Uh, we are open all, uh, all the days except for Christmas and Easter, um, typically open around 9 o'clock and during 
off season we close at five during peak season we close at seven uh, our website is cosmo.org well there you have the cosmosphere come check it out see a show at the dome theater check out the planetarium maybe even dr goddard's lab and see some things explode for bctv channel 20 i'm mia rodriguez